Hi YouTube, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a custom glass top for your reptile or amphibian terrarium. I'm using an Exoterra 24 inch by 18 inch vivarium and on top is usually a stainless steel top. Now this isn't suitable for certain types of animals, especially golden mantillas and dart frogs. You need more or less a fully closed top. So I've used a bit of six millimeter glass and it, it's a fantastic addition to a rainforest tank. It's a, a lot more transparent than stainless steel mesh or plexiglass and so emits, uh, allows light to emit through the top a lot more easier. You can also see a lot clearer through the glass top and it just gives it a nice tranquil lighting within the tank. A glass cutter, some glass that has already been cut within the shop and also some drill bits for glass cutting and of course a drill. So this is your standard Exoterra lid. Now the obvious way to convert this into a dart frog enclosure is to have glass cut to cover these um, vented stainless steel vented areas. Now you can easily get them cut within a glass cutting shop and literally stick them in with silicon sealing around the edges and then silicon sealing the um, extra bits where the hinges lay into just so that fruit flies can't escape. Now this will maintain humidity and any gaps can be filled easily with silicon. So that is the obvious choice. The next option is to have some acrylic cut um, to form a frame on the top of the Exoterra terrarium. Um, it can easily fit into these ridges at the top and then you can um, glue, silicon this together and it forms a secure frame. And this way you can put your misting nozzles within behind this area so it doesn't show within your main terrarium. So this can be quite handy. And then you can st um, stick a piece of glass on the top of it. The next option is to just do away with the acrylic frame and literally place a piece of glass on the top of the tank, just so it covers all of the existing edge. Um, I've used acrylic plastic and perspex in the past, and this doesn't work. And this is what I'm going to show you now. I cut a nice vent um, for ventilation, I cut a hole for a, a DIY fogging system and I also cut the corner out for my wires for the pumps and water heater to run through. But as you can see, the LED lights cause a warp within the acrylic. So this is all gap. It's created massive gaps to the point where even the back here has actually come away and I've, I've had to tape it myself to keep it secured down. Now this is really bad, you shouldn't be using acrylic, so this is just a warning not to use acrylic. I started off with a piece of 3mm and now I have a piece of 6mm and it still warps, so it's just not fit for purpose, you need to use glass. So I tried to cut a corner off using a glass scorer and I just couldn't get it to work. I lubed it up first with some glass cutting oil and I used a ruler to make straight lines and I scratched it fairly deep with the glass cutting instrument and I just couldn't get a good purchase on it I think it's because the glass was too thick this glass is 6mm the glass scorer should have been able to cut through it according to the description of the scorer but it just didn't work so in the end I used a glass drill bit to drill at the corner out right so after ages after ages of trying to get the scratch bit to crack it didn't even crack, but I managed to drill a hole. So I think this is the best way to do it, is to drill the hole. Now I'll show you what to do now. Got my phone ran, ran out of battery halfway through doing this, so I'll just set it up now. So what we're going to do is put on our safety goggles, safety goggles and our gloves. We're going to drill. So it's a bit skiddy, but we should be able to do this. So I thought that if I was to run the drill on the side of the glass that it would actually crack it. But that isn't the case at all, I found out. So, just going to run a bit of water on it and then get our drill. We're going to start off on the side and get some kind of purchase with the side. So 
So we've got a bite here. You can see, I've just rinsed it away with water. There's a slight bite here. So we can use that to put the drill straight now and drill downwards. Okay, I'm going to finish off this cut now because the battery cut out again. What are the chances? So we're just going to cut this. Start off slowly and then go faster. The weight of the drill and a slight bit of pressure will be enough. Wee. That's off. I'm just going to cut another hole here and then that will be enough space to fit my tubing and my wires through. Hey, so that's off now. Got a nice corner. Well, it's, I won't say it was nice, but it's at least a corner that my wires can run through. And now for the hole for the fog tubing. So put the, the right drill bit in. I'm going to use my wooden, wooden base, just give it a rough guide as to where it wants to be. I want my fog nozzles coming through around here, so I'm going to try and get it to bite and then I'll be putting it forward. So I'm going to add a bit of water first. See, there's a little bit of a bite here. Slowly pushing the drill forward now so that it's flat, facing flat, flat. Nearly there now, it's quite difficult. Just about there. Be careful now because it's going nearly all the way through. I don't want to make it smash back and crack. I think we've gone through. The tiniest bit of glass left on this side. There we go. That's off. Perfect round hole for our fog tubing. I've done a time lapse of this drilling just to save you watching the full video. But as you can see, I drilled a large hole for the venting area. So now I have a corner hole, a hole for the fog tubing, and also a hole for the vents. And now all that needs to be done is filing down and sanding down these sharp edges. And we can do this using sanding paper. So a hole for a TerraVape misting nozzle, which is our own DIY Herbs misting nozzle, is 20 millimeters. And this is the hole that you'd cut. To fit the nozzle, all you have to do is press on this push fit connector, pull down, 
and it will release the bottom part. You then have the main screw in section, you unscrew it, you place it within the 20 millimeter hole as such and then you then screw it in. Should be a, a secure fit and then all you have to do is push in the nozzle assembly and then you ha there you have it, a twin misting assembly that you can aim any direction. So this is the end product, it's a nice streamlined glass top, all siliconed into my DIY acrylic frame and it's got holes for ventilation, the fog nozzles and my tubing that runs through the corner. So please um, like and subscribe, um, all the materials are linked in the description below and thanks for watching.